to all okay for this video i'm going to record on our module 2 it is quite long so maybe i'm going to spread it into several uh, subtopic so in this uh, module 2 normally it is like a uh, recap uh, especially for numbering system uh, what we're going to look into is our numbering system you can see especially uh, we know that our numbering system uh, it is divided into integer and also fraction numbers so there is a radix point so radix system over here and this type of numbering we already learned in our digital logic so i hope that all of you still remember uh, I guess last semester you took uh, digital logic so please maybe uh, you can like refer back to your uh, notes for digital logic and try to do back exercise so that you have like a fresh memory related to numbering system but throughout I also will uh, do some recap so that it easier for you to understand Okay, what we're going to learn is uh, there is introduction, of course. We're going to look into fixed numbers, which is integer, the whole numbers, fixed number integer. But this is on representations, uh, aromatic, which is like adding, subtracting. Uh, after the integers numbers, we're going to look into floating point. Uh, same goes to integer we're going to look into the representation and the aromatic lastly the summarization okay for the introduction uh, first of all we're going to look into the aromatic and logic unit okay this is basically uh, why we need to learn and sometimes uh, we might like asking ourselves why uh, and what is the question that might come out throughout when we learn about a numbering but uh, you can go through all this slide at on uh, I guess I already also share with you the module 2 so I hope that you can read uh, this is just like uh, an introduction for you before you go through uh, uh, model 2 so we're going to uh, we begin our examinations of processor with an overview of aromatic and logic unit which is ALU computer aromatic computer aromatic is commonly performed on two very different type of numbers which is integer and floating point okay let's say example i give you the numbering is 197 and then there is a radic point uh, 791 so this part is integer integer part and this is the floating point eh, sorry float uh floating uh, part which is under a numbering system so there is a floating and also integer okay in both case the representation chosen is crucial design issue and is treated first followed by discussion of aromatic operation okay we have basically data type which is we're going to uh, divide it into fixed number and also floating uh, numbers and under fixed number or integer we have representation and aromatic same goes to the floating 
which is representations and aromatic but the different only we're going to look into aromatic part which is for integer addition subtraction multiplication and divisions but for protein point we're going to look into two only addition and multiplication there is no uh, subtraction there is no divisions for the representations for integer number we divided into two which is unsigned number and sign number for unsigned number of course we know it is always a positive number and rarely we put uh, symbols in our numbering system which is like rm10 we didn't put whether it is positive or negative we know that this is a number that represent as a positive because there is no sign at all in front but for sign number we need to put whether it is negative or it is a positive number so that is the differentiation between uh, representation under integer while for the plotting point uh, the representation is under uh, IEEE 754 we're going to look later on what is this and later we're going to go deeper uh, one by one but over here you can see for unsigned integer uh, why and how, uh, sorry how going to play around in terms of aromatic addition uh, multiplication subtraction divisions and uh, what are okay and you also already uh, take a look into a uh, second complement and first complement last time right okay so over here you can see uh, the aromatic and logic unit ALU is the part of the computer that actually perform aromatic and logical operation so inside the SL ALU if let's say you want to play around with adding you want to play around with um, multiplication uh, division and also subtraction it is handled by ALU all electronic components in the computer are passed on the use of simple digital logic device that can store binary digits so i already mentioned last time that uh, computer only know 1010 which is this is a binary number system i hope that you still remember we learned it on our digital logic subject and perform simple boolean logic operation data are presented to ALU so how are you going to store your like maybe 7 inside your ALU 8 inside your ALU how how are you going to store it so we're going to store it in uh, using the binary but where we're going to store is on inside the register inside the register in the ALU and the result of an operation are stored in the register so all the result and the operation are stored also in the register so it is n let's say you have like control signal operand register so everything was be fit into the ALU and you're going to have the result and also the flag later on when you're going to play around with your visual studio then you will see like oh there is a flag how are you going to see the flag how are you going to see the register so that is the introduction part about the aromatic and logic function uh, but i think uh, you still like might confuse why you need to uh, like uh, learn uh, numbering system uh, although like uh, now you're going to learn on c o a which is computer 
but now it is like numbering so what is the coloration between each other so here is the uh, like a brief on why you need to learn numbering for our COA subject in our fixed numbers uh, which is in teacher part we have a sign and unsigned number so let's take a look at the overview for binary number we have pi means 2 which is base 2 if base 2 we know that you have 2 uh, as a best number so what is the possibilities numbers that have which is you going to have 0 and 1 only for the best 2 2 best 2 and then it's called as a binary numbers are keep in computer hardware as a series of high and low electronic signal so you still remember high and low which is low high zero for low one for high so you only store and your computer only understood understand only zero one value they are considered best two which is numbers and binary all the information is composed of binary digits or bits in any best number the value of i is here digit is d so let's say we have a sample we have uh, seven uh, in our numbering system let's say uh, okay we have seven as the numbers we know that okay this is the value as seven and normally our normal and day-to-day -day, uh, numbering system is best than or decimal so that's why we know this is seven but in terms of representation is going to be d times 10 to the power of zero first why let and i will share also again then you will get this value will be one so you get the value of seven okay let's see another example let's say you have one seven one nine seven this is 10 to the power of zero why 10 because our numbering system is best 10 normally we didn't put here because we know that this is our normal representation numbers decimal 10 to the power of 1 10 to the power of 2 okay. so what happened is this is d d is our number 1 plus 10 to the power of 2 this is our base which is best 10 and our i is at which point plus 9 times 10 to the power of 1 because our numbering will be like increasing 10 to the power of 0 and 1 2 10 to the power of 3 10 to the power of 4 and etc and if like below for the fra uh, fraction number is going to be uh, fraction number is going to be 10 to the power of minus 1 10 to the minus 2 10 to the power of minus 3 and continues okay now we look here we're going to have our d times base is 10 and our i over here is 0 so what you're going to get is 1 plus 100 plus 9 plus 10 plus 7 plus 1 equivalent to 100 plus 90 plus 7 so that's why you will get 100 97 this is just a representation if let's say you don't know 
197 is what? It is 100 plus 90 plus 7 is going to get 197. Okay, let give uh, let me give you different best okay going to look into best too because this is like uh, equation for all best number right any number best you can see so we we'll take a look into best too we have one zero one this is example one zero one or maybe one 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 okay to the power of 0 why 2 because it is best 2 to the power of 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of minus 1 to the power of minus 2 and etc so over here you can see what happened is 1 is d this is our d this is our i this is our best times 2 the power of 2 plus 1 times 2 the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 the power of 0 we will get 1 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1 equal to 4 plus uh, 2 plus 1 equivalent to 7 decimal so the value 7 equal to 1, 1, 1. So you go open your calculator and try to convert 7 decimal, uh, 7 decimal convert to base 2 or binary. So we I start at zero and increase from right to left. You can see you're going to increase from right to left. Zero, one, two, three, and etc. So that is how you're going to get and you can like easily convert using your calculator. But this is the equation that you're going to use. So this is just a recap. I hope that uh, like a one time uh, I teach so you can like easily understand because this is uh, like repeating from the digital logic subject and similar to this binary equivalent this one you learn in module 2 also but for digital logic subject you learn how basically uh, bit nibbles by and words so how many uh, bit for nibbles so it's refer to four bits by words is 16 I guess so yeah so please uh, let's take a look back uh, whether this is correct or not you can see one nibbles equal to four bits one byte equal to two nibbles you can see and equal to eight bits and you have also words but in here uh, it didn't show you a words but yes you already learned also words And in terms of the units, you also already learned like giga, mega, what is the uh, unit representation and etc. So hope that you still remember, which is you learned already in your digital logic subject. So this is the, the overview. Uh, I want to change my microphone.
so you can see uh, this is a sign extension extension a number represent to a large numbers of bits example two in eight bits let's say you know basically if you convert decimal if you want to convert decimal to binary which is uh, decimal 2 you want to convert to binary you're going to get 1 0 why 1 0 1 0 to the power of 0 to the power of 2 the power of 1 okay 1 is going to times with 2 the power of 1 plus 0 times 2 the power of 0 equivalent to 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1 equal to 2 plus 0 equal to 2 decimal that's why you're going to get 1 0 binary to decimal so the question is example 2 using the binary for 8 bits so you're going to draw the 8 bits 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 so this is a total of 8 bits binary and you want to change it into 16 bit binary so how you're going to uh, change it to b 16 you just add another 0 0 in front so you have over here this is all together total of 16 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so all together add to uh, 16 but you can see over here it is sign extension so what is happen is you can see this is 2 and normally if 2 we will assume it as a positive in front because there is no negative sign going to assume as a positive positive 2 positive 2 in binary what will happen please make sure you still remember positive you're going to put 0 uh, at the msb side for negative number you're going to put 1 at the msb side so please make sure you still remember this you're going to have like the first bit which is msb going to represent as a sign and the rest will be a magnitude so this is magnitude which is the value value of 2 and this is the sign sign which is 0 for positive after you have this what you're going to do is because you want to convert to 16 you just add another 16 in front so this is the sign so sign is here because it is from 8 bits okay if let's say you have another example which is minus 2 let's take a look what happened which is minus 2 you're going to have 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and don't forget because it is 8 bit the one the msp side will be represented as a sign and the rest will be the magnitude or a value so here 
this is negative it represent as one so this is how basically you going to convert uh, but uh, let me check back why it's basically here it's represent as o one 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 because in the digital logic subject it's going to only uh, change the sign and magnitude and when you want to represent the 16 bit you're going to put all negative in front here just for you to represent it is as a negative so the rest over here i'm going to like confirm you back on this side so you can see this is sign bit supposedly it is here only and this is the sign bit and this is the sign bit extension this is a sign with extension so that is uh, still a recap if you look into the digital logic notes still also you can see the similar thing which is for the sign extension type of number we're going to look into the which is whole number or integer and fraction number uh, or sign and unsigned later on we're going to look into but for unsigned there is no problem at all because it is our numbering system day to day that we learn and use and for sign number it's like uh, needed several other methods or approaches basically for sign magnitude and complements Complements are divided into our uh, ones complements and twos complement, which we already also learned in our digital logic. So for unsigned number, it is a normal number that we have. If let's say we have thirty-two bits wide, you can see there is a value from zero until thirty-one. Why 31? Why 31? Because uh, you're going to also include the 0. So all together 31 and include 0, you're going to get total of 32 bit. You can calculate it by yourself. And yeah, the LSP is uh, bit 0, starting from here, until the MSP is bit. 31 for 32 bit long so the range numbers that are accepted for unsigned if you have unsigned number your lower bound will always zero and your upper bound will be half to the power of n and it's your bit minus one please take a look into this equation in your digital logic notes you're going to have uh, the lower bound and upper bound uh, equation so the equation will represent as lower bound always as zero and upper bound will be to the power of n minus one so you will get the range the range is from zero to Four two nine four nine six seven two nine five decimal. But for sign number, so sign number you're going to have negative and also positive number. You can see the represent of negative value for computer system allow the higher order bit to indicate the sign so the high order bits is the leftmost bit in the byte it is also called the ms bit this one is i think not a new term for you the reminder bits contain the numbers values so let's say you have the example this is like a normal example for you to play around with uh, when you are in the digital logic su uh, subject 
you have 79 plus 35. You need to convert it into binary first because our system only knows a 1010 which is a best two or binary. So this is a sign magnitude. For sign magnitude, you're going to know that it is zero for the MSP. And it is 8 bit. You're going to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the zero in front is the MFB side which is rep represent as a sign sign for positive so this is the value if you convert decimal 79 to decimal you're going to uh, decimal to binary you're going to get this value and 35 you convert to binary you get this value but how are you going to add you will have 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0, 1 plus 1. 0 plus 0, you will get sum as a 0. Zero plus 1, you will get sum as a 1. 1 plus 0, you will get 1 as a sum. And 1 plus 1, you will get 0 as the sum, 1 as the carry. That's why you can see here, 1 plus 1. You will get 0 as a sum, and your carry will be 1. You have another one, 1 plus 1. You will get 1, 0. You plus another 1, you will get one one that's why you have sum as a one and carry as a one sum and carry so and etc so no need for me like to show you step by step because this is just a recap for you uh from the digital logic subject the sum of two numbers is always positive you knew it already overflow and those and uh, okay you're going to have a overflow if you just using a direct adding this is direct addition if you like direct convert it without you going to you convert it into best one or best two you have the possibility to get incorrect or error or overflow for sign bits that's why later on you're going to play around with first complement and second complement the sign bit is used only for sign you can see over here so we can't carry into it otherwise the result will be translated as uh, translated as the MSP bit overflow giving incorrect sum which is this part if let's say you have one one which is one one you're going to get one as if you have over here like this you will get one then you will get the totally wrong answer that is the meaning of these sentences so let's take a look if the overflow bit is not discharged it will carry into the sign Causing the more austerious results of the sums of two positive numbers being negative. Because you get one in front. You will get one if I say one plus one, you will get zero and one. So your total will be one. That's why this is represented as one equal to negative. So it is error or you can also call as overflow. So this is the example as I mentioned. Last carry overflow and is discharged. So you need to discharge. 
That's why you get error result answer should be 178. Then you will get also error for this part. That's why this is when this happen. Uh, when you add two numbers, sometimes it's going to get an error just because uh, it cannot directly use the additions for binary. So there is also another example you can take a look uh, when you play around with this. You can see you please add, uh, you're going to add minus 19 plus with 30, 13 positive, you will get supposedly minus 6. So the sign of the result will be same as the sign of the largest magnitude which is 19. So please try to do so but this is just example later on you can see because of this in sign magnitude the sign bit is used only for sign there will be a problem problem one if there is any carry from the last bit the result will be transcribed as the last bit overflow giving incorrect sum complicated to define the larger magnitude to subtract negative numbers borrow from the menus uh, you can see because of these two problems we need to have an solution need a simpler method for representation sign numbers that's why we will learn complement numbers <laughs> I guess all of this is repeating from your digital logic subject but although it's repeating still you need to remember and do a recap so that you can easily understand and you can apply all what we're going to learn after this on our numbering so we're going to look into one complement of first complement uh, directly you can like read it by yourself but we can see the example how basically first complement will be that if you can see uh, in your digital logic uh, notes first complement only apply for negative number for negative number you going to use similar method which is sign magnitude although you said that it is first complement Let's say example here you have find the sum of plus, uh, value of 9 decimal and also negative 23 you want to add these two numbers and again you can see this is your positive number first complement didn't change anything that's why you will get like 1 zero to zero one and the rest of course you're going to get one and uh, you can see also negative 23 that's why you're going to apply apply what apply uh, first complement oh. how is basically first complement let me convert it by a first negative 23 so i'm going to convert 23 first and what is the value to the power of 0 to the power of 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 1 16 plus 4 we get 20 1 1 16 plus 4 20 plus 3 okay this is my 23 for my uh, 23 value negative 10111 one, one, one. yes this one similar okay so this is the value of my 23 but I have negative in front 
before I going to like set up you can see it is 8 bit that's why I'm going to put and fill it with 8 bit okay this is my negative 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and please remember back how you're going to apply first complement first complement is very easy you just need to convert 0 to 1 1 to 0 you can see the value here we have 1 going to convert to first complement is going to be 0 going to convert you're going to get 0 0 1 and then you have 0 1 1 1 so this is means that negative number convert to first complement you will get everything convert from 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Okay, that's why you will get this first complement you will add here. And you add like a normal adding. I guess it is now when you try to apply it, you still like somehow get an error later on. That's why later on you're going to have a second complement. But this is basically if let's say there is an equation asks you on first complement. So this is how you're going to apply. Which is it's only apply for the negative number. And how you're going to apply it? You just change the value from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Using first complement at B. Okay, where is my negative number? Now my negative number is 9. So it is easy for me. Let uh, give me uh, like 1, 0. I normally like, <laughs> I cannot directly convert. Okay, 0, 0, 1. Okay, this is my... Uh, 9 value but of course I'm going to put 8 bit this is negative in front negative 9 this is the magnitude of 9 the value is 9 so because it's negative I'm going to apply the first complement using 0 to 1 1 to 0 let me convert it all 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. This is all 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is my first complement. Let's take a look into here. Okay, this is my first complement. See, it is like uh, very easy for you to convert. Now, there is a... Uh, there is a method for you for first complement. This one I just uh, recap for you how you're going to apply the first complement, which is zero for zero to one to one to zero. But for first complement, let's say there is an exam uh, example of test or maybe pattern exam asks you to convert or adding or whatever using a first complement. When you apply it, you need to know. Uh, where is it? Represent different numbers given. Oh, it is not mentioned here. Okay. There is a note here. The last carry is zero, so we are done. If, let's say, it is one, we need to bring it down. We need to add. But because it is zero, it is totally basically similar nothing like uh, changing anything so this is the method of a complement which is you need to bring the carry to bottom okay let's take a look if we have a carry with first complement addition you can see add the carry bit is carry around 
So please remember this. I guess in digital logic, it's not mentioned about this because normally you directly go to the second complement for uh, adding, subtracting, and etc. But for COA subject, here you learn. And sometimes you will need it to uh, have the addition, subtraction, whatever uh, aromatic operation for you to use only for first complement or one complement. So please make sure you remember this one. Carry around. So when you have let's say minus 9, this one we already get the value. And when we add normally, as I mentioned, 0 plus 0, you will get 0. Uh, 0 plus 1, you will get 1. 1 plus 0, you will get 1. 1 plus 1, you will get 1, 0. Carry in sum. So, when you add all together, lastly, you will get 1 plus 0 plus 1. Then you will carry, isn't it? So, this carry should be carry around back. So you will add some more until you get the result. So this is the sum. That's why you will get the correct answer later on. Okay, the correct answer means that this one is positive. And basically, <laughs> as mentioned later on, if let's say you have a uh, second complement number, you're going to add one. Later, we're going to see. But this is the uh, the method for first complement that's why you need to carry around this letter if like com you compare between first complement and second complement or one complement to two complement then you can see basically why you need to bring this MS uh, the carry to the bottom which or maybe a carry around okay um Okay, uh, we continue, I guess. Later on, we're going to cut until the second complement. Okay, for sec second complement, I'm going to also show in this video. Okay, you can see that second complement of third, two complement, so you already learned in your digital logic subject. To complement uh, this example of radic complement, the radic complement is often more amplitude. Uh, I guess this one is going to uh, like read it because it's basically similar in digital logic subject, which is it is only adding, adding one, adding value of one to our first complement to find the two's complement you just simply flip and add the add one so that's why as i mentioned for first complement you're going to see you will add one here that is the purpose because for second complement you need to add one so that's why for your first complement you will get correct because it is basically similar to second complement. Okay, let's take a look at example over here. How are we going to apply second complement? So second complement or two complement, normally we will directly convert first the value. So let's say we have 23. I forgot already what is 23 in binary. Let's take a look. Uh, This is 23 and 9, 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, okay, this is 9. So, I have a uh, negative 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, this is negative 23. 
and then I'm going to express blah 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 okay if this is just express so it's okay later on we're going to add okay and this is 23 negative 23 and this is the value of 23 and 9 we have minus 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 Mi minus 9 and how are we going to convert it into second complement first we're going to convert it into first complement how we're going to apply 0 to 1 1 to 0 let's take a look we're going to get 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 this is our first complement next we're going to have second complement how as mentioned in previous slide we just add one add one our answer now is the second complement so this is the second complement for negative 23 we're going to like remove this because we already apply first complement and second complement now let's take a look what is the first complement so negative 9 we convert in this method first complement 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 how for second complement we add 1 we will get 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 so this is our negative 9 so, so this is just an example for a second complement and first complement now for this example we can see there is at 9 plus negative 23 <gasps> I already forgot 23 one zero one 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 and you have zero 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 okay this is my value of uh, 23 i convert it using first complement i will get because only negative number will apply that so i will get zero 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 one 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 this is my first complement i add with one to have the second complement that's why my value will be zero okay this is my second complement for negative 23 similar right and for positive nine nothing happened it is just a similar conversion so you just add so this is your value for negative 70, 17 for pastan or decimal. So there is a differentiation that you need to remember. For first complement, your if let's say you have carry for carry for first sec, uh, first complement carry for first complement you need to carry around. But for second complement, if you have carry, you need to discharge. Please remember this. If you have carry when you add two num binary number using second complement or first complement, for first complement, if you have carry for adding, you need to carry around. But for second complement, if you 
add for second complement you have carry you need to discharge so if the example over here you have positive 23 this is the value for uh, 23 nothing happened because positive number you not like going to change anything but negative 9 you need to change to second complement because first complement and second complement only apply for negative number example i give you 9 we going to have eight zero zero one. Okay, this is nine for our binary. We convert it into first complement. We change zero to one, one to zero. Okay, this is our uh, first complement. Add with one, you will get second complement. You will get this value. So this is your negative 9. You add together, as I mentioned, how you're going to add is simpler. 1 plus 1, you will get 0 as a sum. You carry 1 and you etc. You will add together. Lastly, you can see 1 plus 1, you will get 0 as a sum and you carry as 1. If you have carry, what will happen? You're going to this charge okay so that is the answer simple right okay basically you already learned like a, a first complement second complement which is also similar what happened when you apply uh, and when, uh, when you learn last time in your digital logic subject it's similar so now you need to detect overflow Notice that this charge carry in the example at did not cause an error result. An overflow occur if two positive numbers are adding and the result is negative. Or two negative numbers are adding and the result is positive. This one is like <laughs> normal mathematical uh, term. I don't think that this can be like a detecting because this is like a very simple things like you can think it uh, depending on the uh, sign number right it is not possible to have overflow when using two complement notifications if positive and negative number are being added together if let's say you have negative and positive number it is not possible to have overflow example okay there is a several example if let's say uh, you added uh, two negative uh, two numbers positive and negative we're going to have like a correct answer but when you can you can see you have at positive number together then you get negative number so it is overflow and it is error see another example uh, you have like this old uh, example or review question you can try it if the carry into the sign which is different from the carry out of the sign overflow those it is as an error So please try to do so. So I'm going to stop until here first. That's when I'm going to continue with another video. Okay, thank you.